Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining me for more of our Alberta High School Math Contest. We're up to question number eight for this school year. The set of all values of the real number x, such that 1 over x is less than or equal to negative 3, is less than or equal to x, is... Okay, so um, we've got a sort of a two-sided inequality here. 1 over x less than or equal to negative 3 less than x. What I can do is I can break these down into two different parts. So 1 over x less than negative 3, and negative 3 has to be less than or equal to x. Okay? So, well, where can we go from here? Well, one thing we can do is uh, 1 over x here clearly... One thing I can conclude from this part right away. 1 over x must then be less than 0, and the only way you can get your reciprocal to be negative is if x is negative as well. So I know I'm definitely going to be dealing with values of x that are negative. Okay, so that might be useful. Uh, what else can we conclude? Well, you can always do sort of reciprocal. So if I see a is less than or equal to b, and I know they're both positive or both negative, and the, uh, uh, then 1 over a is greater than or equal to 1 over b. The sign flips around. This only works if they're both on the same side as 0, so they both have to be positive or both have to be negative. But fortunately, x, and therefore 1 over x, is negative, so is negative 3. So what we can do now is say x is greater than or equal to negative 1 third. Okay? And then we also got x over here. x must be greater than or equal to negative 3. Well, this one already trumps that. Okay? So it looks like the only things we know is x has to be negative. Okay? And x has to be less than or equal to negative 1 third, which I guess we really just needed this part for. But combining these, we get negative 1 third is less than or equal to x is less than 0. And looks at, uh, oh, no, 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 here it is, D. D matches up with uh, our combined inequalities. So all we had to do was really just take a look at the, each part of the inequality and rearrange them so they told us things about X rather than 1 over X. And that's sort of our, our general approach to such a question. But there we go, and that's question number eight, which means we're halfway through uh, our uh, part one contest. So up next, we're going to go down to question number nine, and I'll see you for that in the following video.